Hello, it's Jay here again. Welcome to another tutorial. So, in this lesson, we're just going to work on fixing up a few things now. I was working on fixing where the sparks actually spawn, but I've noticed quite a few little errors through the script so we're just going to work on fixing those today and I'm going to begin by coming to the player high script high kick script and we're going to have a look at the void head kick so here Temp damage dot, opponent right punch damage, obviously that should be opponent high kick damage. So let's just copy that and we'll paste that through all those if statements. And then of course we'll just go through, tidy up and alter the comments also. And we'll just keep going. And the final one is there. Let's just save that off for now. And we'll just check the other scripts also. So we'll open the low kick. And that has the same problem. And finally the last one there and again we just go through and tidy up and change the comments also so these are just things that I've missed um, sometimes I do end up having to record these videos in quite a hurry unfortunately I wish I did I have more time but um, it's not a problem we'll just go and fix them up so let's now have a look and we'll make sure that's all correct let's open the punch now I think the punch scripts are correct so that's the right punch one and I stand corrected that should be left punch damage so that's another one we need to change So again we'll just go through and change the comments finally the last one there so we'll just make sure that they are all saved off and I'm just having a look now 
So we've got a head hit, opponent head hit, opponent body, and head. And just as a little bit extra, I'm going to create at the top of the void on trigger stay. We're going to say if, so we'll begin with the high kick. Return if player is kicking high equals false. So let's get that into the comments. If, and again we'll use the variable, is equal to false. And we'll just put our normal return statement in there. And our usual comment of then do nothing and return. Again, we'll copy that. Let's do the same for the low kick. So, underscore, return if player is low kicking this time. And we'll copy again. Now we just need to do the two punch scripts. So we're in the left punch, so turn And finally, let's do it for the right punch script. Let's just paste that in. We'll save that off. Let's come to the opponent AI and I just want to show you something that I've done off camera. Now it's no changes to the script. All I've done is gone through and I've commented out a lot of the debug logs that I don't think we need at the moment. Obviously I've left some in and I've just commented them out so we can actually change them. We can uncomment them if we need to. So let's just comment out those two there. I'll leave the head and body hit ones in place. Let's save that off. Oh, player one manager, I didn't want that script. It's the player one movement. So let's just go through and have a look if there's any other debug logs that we can comment out. As you can see, I've left the strike ones in place. I want those still in place. We know that function is working, wait for animation, so we could comment that out also. So let's save that off. And I'm just checking the health script. I don't think there's any changes we need to make there. Let's come to the opponent and op opponent punch right is that is fine for now. So so's punch left. Let's come to the kicks. Oh, 
we'll change that to play ahead hit. Obviously, we haven't got the rest of the code in place yet, but that is next. So we can start applying damage to the player. So let's get those in place now. And let's save that off there. We'll let it recompile. We'll just run through. Now, a word of note, I'm not expecting it to be uh, perfectly bug free. I just want to do a quick test, see where we're at now. Round one. Fight. So, in fact, let, I want to come to the console. So, as we can see, that is now working better. Now, let's have a look at this error. Oh, yes. I think I can see the problem. So to fix that error, we'll just stop that there. And it's here in the opponent health. And we're in the void opponent high kick damage. Opponent high kick damage. That shouldn't be that. It should be opponent hit by high kick so I'll just paste the low kick in we'll change that to high and we'll paste that in that will fix that one red error we had but other than that it was all working quite nicely up to now obviously the hit sparks still aren't um, instantiating in the correct place now i'm going to leave it up to you guys please leave your comments below in the next video do you want me to carry on fixing these bugs like the hit sparks and any other things that i can find or see or do you want me to start working the next actual functional thing will be having the opponent apply damage to the player um i can do those next and then come back and do another section of both fixes videos so i'll leave it up to you um what you prefer um normally obviously building the game i would completely bug fix before moving on that would be that's the best way of working when you're creating a game but i can understand if some of you for a tutorial series want to actually get some more functionality working um so i'll i'll leave that choice up to you please let me know in the comments below and i shall see you next time so until then as always bye for now